Well, I'll all then I do hope you're all well. Now, anybody who's familiar with my channel know I do enjoy watching, listening to Nick Abbott on a Friday and Saturday, night, especially Friday, because, God, we all need a bit of light hide relief. And when we got to enjoy his uh, update on his soundboard with uh, one or two uh, funny moments of our bodger, our bumbling cockwombles um, speech at the CBI. And uh, a reminder that in Glasgow it's going to rain for the rest of your lives and all that good humoured stuff. He got to talk about a little bit about the situation with uh, these these migrants and uh, taking the rise out of the reason why our pretty awful Patel and uh, and uh, our bubbling cockwomble have made an absolute pig's ear of uh, of it with um, with the French, you know, doing whatever they can to annoy the French. You can pretty much guarantee you're going to get some absolute clusterfuck of a nincompoop who's going to ring in and uh, try and put Nick in his place about this. Well, upsteps. Mark from Chelsea. Pepper Pig emails, greetings Nick, someone who has been impersonating me at the CBI conference. Any idea who it might be? <laughs> Not a clue over here. Some scrofulous uh, oik, I expect. Jerry emails, please could somebody send Boris a stapler to save Peppa Pig from falling apart any longer? <laughs> what do you know about Peppa Pig, Bodge? Peppa Pig World. Peppa Pig World is... Uh, is it, it has a... Uh, uh, Peppa Pig? Very good. Very good. It's a good boy. <sighs> 0345 Carol texts, Boris lost his place in a pile of paper and turned to Peppa Pig rather than Kermit the Frog this time. Well, I suppose the uh, small mercies. Of course, um, frog has uh, other implications. No! <laughs> if, if it wasn't Macron's fault, it's probably Kermit's fault. Thanks a lot, Kermit. See what you've done? You green idiot. Here's a call in Chelsea. Hello, Mark. Oh, my dear man, hello. Um, I, I didn't know I'd be on so fast. Now, um, I think we can all agree that your show and life would be less interesting if we all agreed and phoned up to be so loud. I disagree. Uh, exactly. Anyway, well, well done. Now, um, uh, our strategic interests have been diversifying from our great partner in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, France. I'm not going back to try to analyze what their raison d'etre was. Our strategic to... interests have been... Yes, well, what? firstly, uh, fish, fish, migrants, mm, es escaping, fish. Escape, human beings escaping their cruelty, uh, where their gendarmes remove blank blankets in this weather from shanty towns. Yeah, I think the but cruelty willing... is, is mostly um, from our side, but go on. Willing to escape, risking death from the French. And, I mean, we've never had... No, 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 to... no, not risking death from the French. Risking death to try and get over here because we've shut down all the legal means of doing it. And um, th we've never had an explanation as to why Paris was taken without a shot being fired. Uh, we already what? have what are... Wait, what? Oh. Well, These are, are you, are you, wait a minute. Is They're that is that is it a Second World War reference that you just gave me? Look, it's... We're in living memory... Oh, my God. We're still fighting the Second World War? Are you kidding me? That was the that was your second line of attack. First, the French are being evil, and then <laughs> they gave up in World War Two. Oh my God, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> what a fucking belt up! <laughs> and he was the first call on Friday night, so he was the very first one of on his show. That night, very first one. He hadn't even got to quarter past ten, and that guy had rung up. <laughs> what a bell sniff, <laughs> Nick. They, they, they have form on this because they're French. <laughs> they were a fucking dildo. <laughs> I would just like to say to any of my super subscribers who are from France, I just want to let you. Let you categorically know that us in Britain do not think the way he thinks. That's for a certainty. Because I just think we are being run by those who shout the loudest. 
<laughs> and when his first line of attack doesn't see we're coming out and he realizes Nick Abbott's taking the rise out of him with this strategic talk and all that nonsense. He just straight in for the Bosch. Well, Fran, your Paris was taken without a shot being fired. Fucking hell, what a bell tap. <laughs> well, you just have to laugh, don't you? Oh, well, oh dear. And I've got quite a few of, uh, clips of that night and all, so so they'll be coming up in the next day or two. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy the video and uh, tell me what you think. <laughs> I, I shall leave the video here and until the next time, I shall bid you farewell. So, take care.